Hey everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up a photo frame WordPress theme. You will learn how to set up your homepage to look just like the theme demo and I will explain the theme's features and settings. Ready to get started? Let's go! This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5.1 and version 1.0.5 of the photo frame theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of this theme. To install the free photo frame theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the appearance section. Click the add new link and search for photo frame in the search field, one word, no spaces. Hover the theme and click the install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If your WordPress website is new and has no content, this is what the homepage will look like right after activating the theme. WordPress automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars, but I recommend that you remove all those default widgets. Now let's look at the theme's demo and see what content is displayed on the home page. After that I will show you how to set up every part of it. First we have a hero style header, with the website logo and the primary menu on top of a full screen slideshow. Next comes a widgetized area divided into two columns. Photographers could use this area to say a few more things about themselves. The widget's title in the bigger column uses the h1 HTML tag. Next comes a section that allows you to feature three of your most important pages. These can be portfolio sections, a pricing page, your about page or anything else. After that comes a full width widgetized area. The demo uses a standard text widget to display the most frequently asked questions. Just like any other widgetized area, this is completely optional and can be used for anything else. Next is the blog area. The posts are displayed with portrait-sized thumbnails. And finally the website's footer, which is divided into three widgetized columns of equal width. The content area has no sidebar, so your content can receive the full attention of your visitors. Now let's look at every section separately and see how to set them up. To upload a website logo, go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity panel. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, let's click the Skip Cropping button. A feature that I really like in PhotoFrame has something to do with the logo. A special script in the theme checks the background under the logo. If the background is dark, the theme will display one logo. If the background is light, the theme will dynamically switch the logo. Because of this, you can actually upload two different logos. The one in the site identity panel should be the version that is displayed on light backgrounds. The alternative logo can be uploaded in the theme settings panel of the customizer. I think this is really cool to have in this theme. The photo frame theme has a single menu location in the header of the website. I have a separate video about creating and using menus. If you are new to WordPress, I suggest that you watch that video. To add photos to the homepage slideshow, go to the customize page and open the header media panel. Upload multiple photos and they will be displayed here. Remove the photos that you don't need. The Featured Pages section is set up on the Customize page in the Theme Settings panel. Simply choose three of your existing pages and they will be displayed here. Your pages must have featured images, otherwise thumbnails will not be displayed. You can also change the section heading to something that fits your content.
As an example, let's create a new page and display it in this section. The widgetized areas on the homepage are optional, but if you want to replicate the theme's demo, here's a quick look at the widget's structure. The Welcome Widget's left has an image widget. The Welcome Widget's right has a text widget. And the Above Recent Posts area has yet another text widget. Of course, you can have something else here, maybe a contact form or some custom code. There is also a full-width widgetized area in the footer. Many photographers add their Instagram feeds to this area. Now let's look at the other available theme settings. I mentioned the purpose of the alternative logo in the logo part of the video. The structure of the header can use a two-columns layout or a centered layout. If you want to use a wide logo or you have many links in your menu, the centered layout might work better for you. On the homepage, you can choose to display or hide the Featured Pages section and the Blog section. You can also control the appearance of featured images inside of posts and pages. If you have more questions about this theme, you can find some useful information on the themes page in the appearance section. From here you can easily access the themes community support forum on wordpress.org, send a direct message to the developer or even make a donation. And that's all for today's video. If this video was helpful to you, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.